Roger Head Initiative. I'm delighted to be talking to Royal Bloom. How are you? Yeah, good. Great, Very great. good. Wonderful. Good. So we've got Lewis, Aaron and Kyle, and you're from Ayrshire in Scotland. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, Ayr. Uh, yeah. So just south of Glasgow. Not too far. I've been to Ayr, actually, and it's a lovely place. I don't necessarily recommend it as a honeymoon destination. No. no. How will you no. try it out for yourself? When it's very cold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Not a lot going on that time of year. But no, nevertheless, it's... it was a lovely place to visit. And I've not been back since, but I do intend to one day. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. anyhow, tell us, Royal Bloom, how did you begin? How did, did you give birth to this three piece that we see now? Uh I guess the story kind of starts at my end. Uh, I was in a previous band and I wasn't happy with where we were at. And I had this image, this idea of what this was. So I left that band and I gave myself an entire year to find, you know, the right dudes or the ladies. And uh, did, a, did rehearsals with a bunch of people, just wasn't working. And it came to like the last two months where I was going to go backpacking. I couldn't get, find anyone. Mm. And uh, I met Aaron at his girlfriend's party next service party and uh, told him the situation and he was like oh yeah dude I play bass so I was like okay great uh, how's next week for you so we met up and then he got another mate and um, round and yeah just worked from there so happy days like last minute oh but so and uh, then Cal jumped onto the boat around about two years later so so we changed it yeah. So were you a two-piece then to begin with? Uh, no, we, were, we had a drummer, but um, he left and uh, <laughs> turned into it, so. Yeah. yeah. I think I joined at the end of 2017, yeah. 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 That, so. Okay, so, so what have you been doing? I know you've um, you released your six-track debut EP, so that was 2018? 2016, yeah, 2016. a week while ago. That was, that was uh, Under the Bridge, wasn't it? Baby so, Us, yeah, Infinite Sounds developed a whole lot since then, as well as the uh, maturity of the music and just the whole vibe, really, and the, the sound as well. Especially Kyle when he came onto the scene. This was after the EP, and that just completely shuffled things around for us. So, yeah, and I do like the description of your sound. You describe it as if Alice in Chains got into a bar fight with Nirvana. <laughs> and you know, I've listened to your music, and I can see exactly where you're coming from with that. So, um, yeah, I'd say that's pretty pretty accurate. So, mm -hmm. you were due to release your debut album last year. Yeah, quite a while ago. We've had this thing ready. For uh, it was probably a year before last year, wasn't it? Oh, it was yeah. 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 So it was kind of there, but, you know, we wanted to give it plenty of time. So, last year was the year, and then now it wasn't. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. that's kind of how that went, obviously, but, you know. It's still there, ready to go, kind of. We just need to get go back on track at some yeah. point. So what yeah. stage are you at with it now? Just yeah. need to record, pretty much. Uh, we spent the last year just fine-tuning things and stuff when we couldn't get into a, a studio to record. But, um, yeah, we literally just need to wait for uh, things to open back up now. Yeah. yeah. Good. The studio it's is dire way. We've been yeah. ready to get this going for a long time now. And... Uh, yeah. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be so good once it's actually got it in our hands, you know. And will you be good. touring? Sorry? Do you, do you imagine you'll be touring? Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Like, um, yeah. once once yeah. you've got that out, that's, we'll be gigging, whether it's the north of Scotland or south of uh, England, every single oh, second week. So a gig in Scotland, and then two weeks later, a gig down England. Sort of vice versa, just so, like, we don't have to go too far away from home yeah every, every single week just to keep it keep the train rolling you know we don't want to burn out and since everyone's kind of working at the same time we're at that level where we need to kind of balance things out before things so we're just keeping things like that but uh i was yeah. going to say that, that touring like that must really be very difficult to balance with your home life and working patterns so so how do you sort of organize all that if you're touring every second week how do you sort of manage to work to work around it uh, i just know the times all uh, everyone kind of really works and if we organize in advance long enough maybe like a month or that we can if it's worth the gig or it's worth the travel or that we know it's going to be a good show we'll just all put on a holiday and go for it and um, mm -hmm. 
Yeah, but... kind of. Yeah. Sorry, Carl. I was just going to say it's kind of weird to explain because we've not actually done that specific plan yet. Um, <laughs> the the most we've done, like before, twenty nineteen was quite a busy year. Um, ironically, so um, we didn't quite get to the every two weeks set up, but that was the always the plan. But um, any time we had something, it was either time off or the weekend, so mm. it was always quite easy to fit in. Uh, as long as we had plenty of notice. But mm-hmm. Once we start, we'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any festivals uh, in the, the pipeline for this year? Uh, we've been speaking to management about that. We've got a few in the pipeline that we can't actually announce just yet. Okay. Um, there was a couple, um, there's one in Blackpool, I can't remember the name of it right now, which we were supposed to do in August last year. Mm-hmm. Obviously, stuff happens. Um, so yeah, everything's literally on hold. We've got a massive show at the end of the year with Dan Cole Jones from Canada at King Tut's in Glasgow. Mm-hmm. Apart from that, that's our only really sort of solid gig that's still kind of like we know is actually going to go ahead. Mm-hmm. Whether or not that does, we'll find out. I'm sure it will eventually. Yeah, whatever. fingers crossed. Fingers yeah. crossed. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Tell us how the name Royal Bloom came about. <laughs> Funny one. Uh, so I was at <laughs> college, like 2016, Still running this idea through my head, head like I wanted this band and all that. And uh, it was so early in the morning, and it was just at college, and I was listening to conversations. And I tuned into someone else, and someone said Royal. And I looked to my left, someone said Bloom. And at the same time, I was thinking, like, band names, oh, and there, there, there's an actual possible band name. So I wrote down 10 for the guys. I think you just didn't like it. And then it was better than everything else we came up with. <laughs> yeah. I like your honesty, and it stuck with you, and you all love it now, right? Yes, of course. Yeah. Well, yeah. So the best, the best joke about it uh, in my workplace is uh, it sounds like a Chinese takeaway sometimes. <laughs> yeah. So I always get like jokes, like Facebook comments of you know, how's the Chinese takeaway doing? I say yeah, it's good. We've got some hats. <laughs> so uh, it's kind of one of them, but yeah, it's definitely original. So we quite like it. That's yeah, it. so yeah, it's a really note. Um, tell us how you got involved with the Forge Ahead initiative. Uh, that's a funny one. Um, we, how did we get involved with that? Do any of you guys know the I story? Think, script? I think it was oh, my wow. dad. My dad put us in touch touch with uh, John. Or, um, John and my dad go back a long, long time. They used to yes, get. Yes, John is from Air, isn't he? Yes, he is. Yes. Right, he, yes. Put two and two uh, together now. Connection. Yeah. 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 So my dad and John used to gig together years and years ago, um, back in you know when they're nineteen twenty, um, and eventually John went his separate ways. Blah blah blah. He moved further south, and my dad ended up kicking a bit up here. But they kept in touch, and mm. John had been speaking to my dad about getting some gigs for them, and then my dad was like, "Oh, John might be interested in you guys." So then we ended up in touch with John, and uh, John seemed to like us, and. We kind of were quite happy with having John was saying it was all sounded good and so here we are all together, one big happy family now. You yeah. are, yeah. yeah. Well, that all sounds very nice. I do like yeah. it when the parents get involved. And... Yes, yeah, very rock and roll. Yes. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. So good. One. Um, what are you most looking forward to then coming out of lockdown? Just getting back together with you guys, <laughs> seeing yeah. each other. You know, I've got you got miss one Oh, yeah. Sorry, you miss one yeah. another then. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> that and yeah, usually, usually would be every Friday or so, usually usually a Friday, but you know that was one night um, to night. get together. And I mean, you're getting together to practice, but you know it was more of an actual get together. Um, mm. So the music happened on a Friday, and then we would maybe be on a Saturday uh, playing. So well, don't forget to come and visit us down south here. Yeah. Oh, we absolutely will be. Oh um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, make sure we're on your tour list. So um, it'll be lovely to see you. And um, I wish you all the, the very best and that you're able to get that album out there. Oh, yeah. well, thank Hopefully. you very much for having us, Anne. Yeah, you're very you. welcome. Nice yeah, to meet you. you. And um, I look forward to seeing you on the road. Yeah, so take care. Yeah, Big Cheers. Lots of love. Lots of love. <laughs> see you later. Bye. Take care. Bye. This is rock and roll.